Hi guys, it's Kelly. Hey, I wanted to share, this is like the 10th time I'm recording this crazy thing, so it's gonna be fast. But this is what I made, it's a little purse. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? It is so cute. This is what I made with the little balsa wood things that I showed you in my haul the other day. Here's one. And these were kind of, it's harder than I anticipated because all the videos that I saw of the balsa wood projects, they were about a year ago and they, they sat up, you know, but these don't look, they roll all over. So I was thinking, what the heck am I going to do with this little thing? Because if I give it to somebody, what are they going to do with it? But, um, I wound up making it into a little clutch purse type thing. How cute is that? So all I did, super quick, I used Pink Paisley's uh, Butterfly Garden Paper. It's left over. It's left over from, hopefully you guys can see that. It's left over from the flip book that I made for my mom for Mother's Day last year. I love this paper. It's really muted, nice and soft, and just gorgeous. So, um, I love the paper so much that I kept it super, super simple. Um, it was harder to cover this than I thought it was going to be because, um, again, there's no flat. It's all rounded. So this is just one sheet of paper, and I just cut it, you know, and just covered it with the paper and used matte medium to cover it over and because it needed to be flexible because see it had to be flexible when it dried and uh, I think that was the best choice for it maybe I don't know maybe decoupage would have worked too but um, anyway so that's where it is so that's the paper that I used and I just covered it all over and used vintage photo on the edges and then this is a Prima Flower Center, little bling thing. I'll have to get it down with some glossy accents because their stuff doesn't work, doesn't stay very well. And then inside is just painted with espresso brown. And this is just the, I just hot glued the knot inside there so it would stay. So it's not gonna move anywhere. Just hot glued the knot, just tied it in a knot glued some little bling pieces on my ribbon. This is actually one of, um, what's that called? Lala Bert? Hold on. Lally. This. It's a hair ribbon, actually. It's just a fabric strip, actually. And then this is just some flower ribbon that I have, because this was a little uneven. Because it was hard to get this paper around here. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. It's got some little wrinkles, imperfections in it. And I actually kind of like it. like it so much that I highlighted it with the ink. So there you have it. That is what I did with my balsa wood little box. And I, you can't even call them a box. Because they don't sit up unless you do it like that. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway. There you go. It's so cute. I could put all kinds of bling and flowers and get all crazy, but if I'm making it into a purse, this is this is more appropriate, I think. If I bling it up too much, it's not it's not gonna look right. Anyway, hope you like it. I wanted to share that with you. And then also doing the whole mixed media thing. Um, I finally went and got myself some archival ink today, and I want to show you guys what happened. So I gessoed uh this sun on here. It was from a stencil. And I was just playing with some stamps randomly all around. The background is with Distress Ink. Just dipped several different colors. And then I stamped it with stays on. And yeah, it doesn't work. Just like everyone says. Everyone always says, get archival because it's the only one that works. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think this is still kind of cool. I'm going to include this. I'm going to start a, um, instead of buying a book to do an art journal, I'm just going to use tags. Like, I got the idea from Bona on Lovely Scrappin', I think it is, or Live Love. I can't remember. But anyway, she there was a bunch of tags that she had done when she first got into mixed media, and she just had a big, like, two big, huge stacks of them with a ring. And um, I kind of like that idea. So I think I'm going to do that instead of buying a book. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to start playing with paints and the mediums and all that good stuff and on a card because it's a smaller canvas so and it's less intimidating if it's in a book it's like oh my god this is permanent and it's already intimidating as it is so these are much easier and I have a lot of these so I'm going to use these so anyway I just want to show you guys yeah stays on that's what happens if you try to and I did it on purpose on there I wanted to see what would happen 
and it just kind of ghosted a little bit which that's a whole nother thought a whole nother look for some other projects which would be cool but and then this one um, was one of the multimedia things because this is my year my multimedia adventure that I am on um, this little funky little butterfly I made last night it's just a wooden dowel I painted black and these are the grunge board um, shoot this is Tim Holtz little grunge board thing I've had it forever and I haven't used it and I got it on clearance yeah it's a grunge board thing and in there you have all these little shapes and there's little butterfly wings so I just cut those out sanded them down because when you pop them out there's little pieces on there so it's definitely not one of my favorite products from Mr. Holtz but I do love them anyway so I just painted it blue and then put dots of white gesso on there and it bled through so it looked like a lighter blue and I kind of like how that happened and then I just put it's not focusing there it is and then I just put glossy accents on it okay and then these are some new stamps today what I went out and I got my archival ink like I said woohoo finally yay and definitely night and day so um I went and got that and I got this new stamp set from Inka Dinka Doo really cute and the reason why I got this is because I wanted to mess around with some paints and flowers and multimedia stuff and I wanted to get have something to, to paint in I love all the cute little stamps like the little girl faces and stuff and but they're so, they're just so expensive and to get started on that is just gonna be way too much so little baby steps at a time so um I got this stamp set today and that is what I use. So my background I did with Distress Ink. And um, that was so much fun. I just did the background, spritzed it with water, just so it was nice and, and light background with just some shadows in the background. And then I mixed some paints and inks. It's all kinds of different stuff. But when I was trying to do the inks, that's the thing with Distress Ink. I mean, it's great, but I like that it's reactive with water. But... It, I kind of keep losing my color integrity. So, I'm not crazy about that. Bless you, buddy. I just sneezed in bed. But anyway, so I just want to share. This is my, I guess it's my second. This is witnessing the very beginning of my journey this year for art journaling. Mixed, I'm sorry, mixed media. So, this was fun. Look how bright and cheery it is. I'm excited about that. And I learned a lot, so that and that's the whole reason why I'm doing it. So um, I learned what the, that good paint is important. This uh, the cheap acrylic paint does not do well with this. So and I did buy some good paint the other day. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Learning shadowing. This one got kind of messed up, but that's okay. I mean, that's the whole reason why we're doing it. So I tried to record myself while I was doing stuff and there was no plan and I was just doing it but my video camera kept turning off so. But anyway, so that's what I want to share with you, my little purse. How cute is that? I love it, love it, love it. And then I'll probably even do another purse with this one that I have because I love that idea so much. And they don't stand up so having it be a purse is probably the option. Alright, just want to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. And thanks to all my subbies and all my new subbies. Thanks for commenting. I love it. Love to hear from you guys. And I will do some more videos here very soon. Thanks.